Welcome back to the vlog this morning. It's so cold, my eyes are watering just riding down to the cafe. But I'm gonna start today by going and getting some coffee because that's the best way to start any day. Okay, this is gonna take some concentration riding with this big camera in one hand and my coffee in the other. I'm pretty confident though. This is warming my hands up nicely, but uh, today's a rest day. Thankfully, it's a rest day. I woke up this morning and I'm so, so stiff. I've had like a hard week of training last week. So today's rest day was definitely needed. A lot of you won't have seen that bike before. That's like my old, come in Lex. That's like my old, old winter bike. It's way too small for me now, but I just keep it because I use that bike to go to the shops and it saves me having to get my good race bike out. It feels very weird starting the vlog at this time of the morning. It's currently nine o'clock and I was like rushing to get the vlog started. The reason being is because I've been at work since 5 a.m. So even though the day's only just starting for most people, I've already been up for a few hours and to me it feels like the middle of the day. I need to run into Chorley, which is our local town. I've got a few jobs to do. I need to go to the bank and I need to buy a couple of bits. But I've got the drone because there's a feature with this drone called Follow Me, where it can either follow the controller or follow uh, a fixed item, i.e. me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test this feature out in the car and see how well it works. Because what I'm thinking is if I can get the drone to follow me whilst riding, game changer. So I finished up with everything that I needed to do in Chorley and I thought whilst I was in Chorley I might as well come up to Sheep House Lane. Now Sheep House Lane is like our closest 10 minute climb, it's between 8 to 10 minutes depending on how fast you're going up it. But it's the main climb in Chorley GP which is a, a British National, a British Premier Calendar race. So I thought this would be a cool place to test out the follow me feature with the drone. Hi mate. Everyone's always interested in the drone. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the main climb on Chorley G Prix, which is a British national. So I thought this would be a pretty cool place to come and test out the follow me feature with the drone. Cheers boys. Kind of failed. You crashed. <laughs> So it turns out it was actually a little bit too windy to use the active tracks feature. Anytime I went over like 10 miles an hour, it just wouldn't be able to keep up with me. The wind is super strong today. But those three guys there, that was Sam, Josh and Elliot. I raced those three guys and they were out up Sheep House Lane doing some interval training. That was just by pure coincidence that they were there. So hopefully I managed to get a few good shots of them riding. So this afternoon and for the next few days, I'm heading down to my girlfriend's house, but without my girlfriend, let me shut this. So pretty much her parents are going away on holiday for a few days. They want someone to stay at their house whilst they're away. And I'm that person. But anyway, this, this parcel arrived and I'm not too sure what it is. I'm going to unbox this on the floor because it is pretty big and it's heavy. Whoa, okay, this is cool. Oh, oh, oh. Look at all this. 
T-shirts, 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 T-shirts. T-shirts everywhere. So the reason I was so, so surprised about this was because this wasn't supposed to be here until like two more weeks. But for some reason they were ready early and they delivered them today. So if you haven't guessed, they are Cycling Cam branded white T-shirts. And this is something that I've been working on for quite some time now. It's got the logo on the chest and it's also got Cycling Cam in the collar. So my long-term goal, my long-term vision is to set up this CC brand, this CC clothing brand, which is gonna run alongside the cycling channel. So this is kind of like the trial run. I think no matter what way everything goes in terms of fashion, in terms of uh, the, the direction I take these clothes, when you bring it all back to the core, I want to always have the signature t-shirt. This, this is the signature t-shirt, it's a plain white t-shirt. My logo in the left chest. And another thing, someone said to me, why is it CC? What, should you not have cycling cam somewhere in there? And that's also part of the vision, part of the idea. It's more of like a secretive brand, so only people in, in our circle know what this CC means with the little blue cutoff to the C. As you've seen from my vlogs, I'm a very simplistic person when it comes to clothing. I like stuff that looks good, but I also like stuff that's simple. I don't like overcomplicated stuff, for example, this t-shirt is just a plain t-shirt, but I think when worn with this gray hoodie, it looks good. And that was kind of the idea behind the CC brand. It's simple, but it looks good. All right, I think it's about time I tried this thing on. Sick. So as you can see, I designed a shirt which is like halfway between a standard fit shirt and a slim fit shirt, so it's not like super tight, but it's also not super baggy. It's somewhere in between, and the length of it also is slightly longer than your average t-shirt, but again, it's not like a crazy long t-shirt, it's, it's somewhere in between. It's also got a nice high collar, I love t-shirts with a nice high round collar. So let me know what you think of this t-shirt in the comment section down below. So if you want to support me, then head over to cyclingcam.co.uk. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below, but it's very, very simple. Cyclingcam.co.uk. Get yourself a t-shirt. Now I must stress, this first batch is very, very limited. There's like 10 t-shirts of each size. Well, there's gonna be nine medium now because I take a medium and, and this is my t-shirt. So I'm not just saying this to make you buy a t-shirt, but if you want a t-shirt, then my suggestion is act fast because there really isn't that many to go around. It's gonna be a little while before I get any more t-shirts in or any other products that I have been designing. And, and trust me, there's a few things in the pipeline, but I wanna see these t-shirts do well before I sort of delve deeper into this and invest more time and money into it. And this whole first run, every single order, I'm gonna write a personalized message with the order to thank you guys, to thank you OGs for supporting me. And I just want to say thank you for all the support so far. You guys are incredible. You, you really are. And let me and everyone else know in the comments who's getting a t-shirt. For those of you that don't know, Georgia lives in Milton Keynes. I live in Preston. That's like a three and a half hour drive. So before it gets dark and before I head down there for the next few days, I'm just walking these two crazy dogs. Feeling up for the long drive. Okay, so ahead of me, I've just got a three hour drive along a motorway. So I might just spin to my destination. Actually, no, I will spin. I'm gonna stop for some dinner in like an hour or two. I'll spin to there. Welcome to Northampton Services. So we've got a great selection of food in here. We've got McDonald's, some cafe and Costa. Falafel and hummus wrap. It's better than nothing. Let's spin again. Made it to Georgia's house. I am currently in a room, but Georgia's not here. Georgia's at university. She will be here in a few days, but she's not currently here. So I couldn't resist in telling you guys about the t-shirts. So for you guys that follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I already told you about the t-shirts. That's why it's important to follow all my social medias because I often post stuff first on Instagram and Facebook and also Twitter. It's actually pretty late here now, so that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. And to everyone who's so far bought a t-shirt, I know there's been a few sales 
already and I've not even liked, I've not even told the majority of you in the vlog. So thank you so much to everyone that's bought a t-shirt so far. And I must stress again that this is a very, very limited run. If you want a t-shirt, make sure you buy one sooner rather than later. I don't want you to be disappointed on you missing out on buying a t-shirt if they go, if they go out of stock. Because it will be a while before I get some more in. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow.